Yeah, alrighty then. <laughs> so I found this in the laundromat yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, Star Wars, the essential guide to characters. See, I'll get it up there so you can see it. There's, the sun's kind of coming in here right now. The only detailed, illustrated, comprehensive guide to the major and minor characters of the Star Wars universe. It came out in 96, right before the special editions. And, uh... Whew. Anyway, you know, the character that I want to bring to your attention today... Oh, and it has lots of good ones. <clears throat> today, across from Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi is... A human male with brown hair, gray eyes, unknown height, uh, homeworld Yavin 4, political alliance, or a political affiliation is the alliance. Weapon of choice? None. Vehicle of choice? None. And first appearance? Star Wars, Lost City of the Jedi. Now, again, I'm just going to put that up there if you want. You can, uh, wait, here we go. You can pause your, oh, shit. Anyways, yeah, pause it, read the stats, there they are. Anyway, now we get into the shit. The grand, <laughs> and this is so funny because, like, retroactively, this is just, here it is. The grand, <laughs> The first sentence ruins everything. The grandson of Emperor Palpatine, the young Jedi named Ken, Ken, uh, lived sheltered deep in the bowels of the lost city of the Jedi until a brush with the Alliance unraveled his past and his future. Ken was the son of Palpatine's three-eyed mutant offspring, Triclops, and a Jedi, Princess Kendalina. Triclops had been imprisoned in the Imperial Asylum of Kessel, where Kendalina had been forced into servitude. The two fell in love and conceived a child. Sometime after Ken's birth, Kendalina was killed. A brown-robed Jedi master took the child to the lost city deep underground on Yavin 4. Uh, there, he was to be trained to reject his heritage and to embrace the light side of the Force. The only reminder Ken had uh, the, of his father was half of a silver birth crystal. He w silver birth crystal he wore about his neck. The other half was on a silver chain around Triclops' neck. Triclops. The droid DJ88 was the caretaker of the Jedi Library and Ken's teacher. Well, HC-100 was in charge of Ken's homework. A small droid named Microchip, nicknamed Chip, <laughs> was created to be Ken's friend. And a small feathered Mooka named Zebo was his pet. The more Ken heard about the war against the Empire, the more he wanted to meet the Alliance heroes, especially Luke Skywalker. Fucking surprise, eh? Um... Especially Luke Skywalker, Ken learned to use some of his Force talents, including the abilities to cloud minds and levitate small objects. And I'm going to stop right there, because there are oh, several paragraphs left. Not too many, but enough. I think that's good enough. But holy crap, it gets dumber. You think it's bad now. And contradictory, it gets way worse. So, stay with me, please.